I don't know how people do this. If I put it here. This is impossible. You see me through there? Oh. Look at that. I could drive like this. Okay, fun fact for you all. Plastic doesn't stick on plastic. This looks horrible. I've got my seatbelt on. Oh, the car's already on. Okay, hi guys. I got a fringe. So I'm sitting in the car and I'm literally driving home. I'm not the best driver. And you guys can just join me on my ride home. Okay, by the way, I haven't really watched a car vlog, so if this sucks, blame the fact that I don't watch YouTube, okay? You have no idea how scared I am of driving right now because you guys are kind of seeing it. I think this driver behind me is getting annoyed by me. Anyway, so I am halfway through my year right now and uh, here in France and I'm kind of saddened out by it because this year is kind of like the best year of my life. But on the other hand, I'm kind of keen because I get to go home soon. I'm kind of homesick, low-key. But that's okay, homesickness is good. Is it? I'm not sure. Why I can't talk and drive, apparently. So my parents are in Europe, in Germany right now, and I'm actually going to visit them this weekend for the last time. And then I see them in six months again, and I'm kind of depressed, because I know how sad I'll be when I say goodbye. But you guys don't need to see that. I think one meltdown on YouTube is enough. Okay, that was horrible. I think I just went into two lanes when I drove through that roundabout. And I got a fringe, which I've never gotten before because my mom always said, my mom said I shouldn't get one. Um, and the story behind the haircut is, okay, au pairing is super fun, but you're always on a budget, like always on a budget. And one of my au pair friends who lives down the road from me, she was like, oh, like I can cut hair. And we literally <laughs> sat in my room and she cut my hair. It was actually cut to the side. Wait, let me try. I don't know if that works or not. Yeah, it was cut like that, but it just falls like this. So at the moment, I'm still deciding what I want. If you want, just say what you guys prefer. I'm not sure. I'm yeah, still a bit confused by it. So I'm pretty sad that it's halfway through because I don't know if you guys have an idea about au pairing, but au pairing is one of the most annoying and one of the best jobs you can have. So the kids sometimes don't listen and that's annoying. And sometimes it's just so exhausting because kids are exhausting. Like, <laughs> I'm not having kids anytime soon because that's one thing a parent has taught me so far. But the best thing about it is like, sometimes you're really proud. You're like half a parent and the kids are super cute. Oh, the police just passed them. Oh. Wait, mm, I don't know if vlogging is legal or not in the car. The setup is probably a bit iffy. My setup. But on the other hand, it's like the best thing ever. Like I've never been this free in my whole life. And it's probably, I've been the most unproductive I've ever been, ever. Solely because like YouTubing, like yeah, I really want to edit videos. But then on the other hand, I'm like, mm, or I could go and hang out with my friends or I could watch Netflix or something like that. So please don't judge me. I will hopefully get better. Um, at the moment, all my friends are leaving because their school year is different from Australia. So I'm still here for the rest of the year, but they like leave now. So I'm super sad practically all the time right now because like last night I had to say goodbye to a few, like in the, li like in the next week, I have to say goodbye to another few. All my Swedish friends have left. By the way, people have said that I look Swedish now, and I didn't dye my hair, it's just like sun bleached, it's a bit annoying. Oh, there's a bird. Come on, bird. Ah, fly bird. Stay. These birds, what's wrong with them today? Did not even flinch when I passed. So, I'll do another video at the end of the year when I finish the pairing, but right now, I highly recommend it. It's super fun, like of course sometimes you're like, why am I doing this, like when the kids don't listen? But in all, like the friends that you make are incredible. You meet people from all over the world and um, and they're so nice girls. Like, oh, I love them to bits. And boys, like there's some boys as well. Um, but majority is girls, like, but no discrimination. Boys and girls can do it, easy. Um, like I'd love to introduce you guys to my kids, but 
I don't know how that works with child protection and stuff like that and I don't want to do anything illegal. Seeing the number of subscribers I have and viewers, it could truly be kind of dangerous. Oh, that was a bird again. These birds are crazy. Do you know the other day, a huge pigeon flew against our gate and broke its neck and died. We all thought it was a cat and then the host dad had to like clean it up and he was like, mm, I think it was actually, it flew against the gate. Anyway, um, this year has been like crazy though um, because we're firstly moving to France, um, trying to learn French, which I still haven't. I don't know if I told you, um, but at the start of the year in February, within 14 days, um, I lost both my grandfathers. Um, and that was quite horrible. Um, it still hasn't, I don't know how to describe it, but it hasn't clicked if that makes any sense like I don't know like I go to my grandparents house and I'm waiting for them to like come around the corner or something like that but you know, I've learned so many things and going away from home like I did six months in Italy already but this year I'm way more independent like I'm like traveling alone and things like that meeting new friends and you know, going out on weeknights or things that you probably know like I tell my parents everything I'm probably like the worst kid because of that but um doing things that you might have not done last year I don't know I, guys I really don't know where I was going with this video I just wanted to tell you that like I'm halfway and then I did this whole road trip out of it and that I got a haircut I forgot about that like the first time when you look in the mirror and you get like a haircut you're like Ugh! what happened to you and I'm still kind of confused if I like it or not I don't know if you guys like it. I hope you do. Well, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm home now after a bit of a journey. I hope you enjoyed this. It's gonna get dark in a second. I'll turn the lights. That will make no difference whatsoever. Oh, whoa, this is horrible lighting. So I'm at home after my little travel. I hope you guys enjoyed being in the car with me. And if you think I'm a horrible driver, don't let me know maybe. But I guess I'll see you next time. <laughs> Choose. I do know how often I have to say tschüss in like a video that I edit out because every time I say it, it sounds so cringy, but I've started it and I don't want to stop. Consistency is key. Not sure. Anyway, tschüss.